What's up everyone, it's Kelly and today I've got another favorites video for you. So today I'm sharing something of a tradition on this channel from the last few years. At the end of the year, I always like to share my top five favorite collections of the year. Now, this is a little bit different from individual favorites, which is another video that I like to do at the end of the year. And there will be one for 2023, don't worry. But I have always been a collection person. I really love a full collection that's super cohesive. The colors look beautiful together. The story works and I really just appreciate the way that brands put collections together. So that is how this idea came about and every year there are some collections that just stand out to me as absolutely incredible and I just really wanted to highlight some of them for you. So let's just get into the official ranking from number five down to number one. This year I actually do have honorable mentions but yeah let's get into it. My top five favorite nail polish collections of 2023. But before we start, if you want to take a guess, pause the video and then leave your predictions down below. <laughs> Okay, number five on my list is the Painted Polish Rainbow Chip Realm Collection, specifically their part two collection that came out in summer 2023. This was a collection of eight Crelly nail polishes that had black speckles in them, and it was just a full rainbow of super vibrant colors, and I fell in love with these. Honestly, I actually enjoyed the original Rainbow Chip Realm Collection as well, which was more springy pastel kind of colors, but I I love speckled nail polishes. I love when a polish has black flakes running throughout. I think it looks so beautiful. It reminds me of like a bird egg, but there's just something so gorgeous about that speckle to me. And I've only ever really seen it in more neutral colors. So when they came out with this rainbow of super bright colors, I was so excited. I just think they work so beautifully together in a Skittle where each nail is different. And let me tell you, the formulas on these were incredible. They were actually a lot of one coders, but I do like to have the depth of having multiple layers on my nail when it comes to a Crelly nail polish. So I do like wearing these in two coats, but they are just stunning. They work really beautifully on their own. They work really nicely for a Skittle manicure. And I just really loved how vibrant the colors were in the part two collection. Funny enough, they actually just recently came out with a part three, which had more fall winter colors, which I will be reviewing soon, but that is going to come in January. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, just a really incredible collection. I feel like Painted Polish is a brand that I have just been falling in love with so much over the last year, but I have to say I do think those speckled polishes are my favorite. All right, number four on my list is the Cadillacer Summer 2023 collection. So this was a collection of nine neon nail polishes, but they weren't just neon creams. They were neon shimmers and then also neon jellies that had iridescent flakies in them. And I am a huge fan of neon nail polishes. I love a good neon. I've done a lot of favorites videos on neons before, but there was just something so special about having a set of specialty finishes in a neon color that just spoke to me. And because they weren't a cream formula, they were so easy to apply. If you're not super familiar with neons, they can be a little bit tricky and a lot of brands do not get them right. <laughs> but these formulas were so easy to work with. They applied just like regular nail polishes, but they were just so intense intensely bright. They almost like hurt the eyes. Shades like that green Sky Dancer. Oh my gosh, it was so incredible. It was almost like ectoplasmy green. And that deeper blue Summer Nights with that contrasting shimmer in there. Oof. I, I just feel like they made so many beautiful shades for that collection that felt so perfect for summertime. I'm actually really looking forward to the warmer weather again so I can start wearing those again because when I wore them, I just could not stop staring at my nails. So just really impressive overall, especially coming from an indie brand. Cadillacer is another brand that I have fallen in love with in the recent couple of years. I just think that they make such unique polishes and they always feel very special. So having this set of neons from them, it, it really did feel elevated to me. Number three on my list is the Mooncat Midnight Rodeo Collection. So this was their fall 2023 collection. I believe it came out in August and this was 10 nail polishes that had this cowboy kind of theme going on and I did not expect to fall in love with it as much as I did. We had a bunch of different browns in there. We had some 
some matte shades. We had some flakes and stuff like that. There was just something about that color story and the colors individually that I could not resist. And I actually ended up liking them a lot more than some of the other collections from Mooncat that I really loved in the last year. So that's definitely saying a lot about this collection, but I just found myself reaching for those colors over and over again. Specifically Dark Horse, it just felt like the perfect autumn polish to me. Just that beautiful deep brown shade. Outlaw Country was just that deep gunmetal metallic kind of shade and it's just so beautiful. I've been meaning to use that one in nail art but every time I pull it out I just want to wear it on its own so I haven't even gotten the chance to yet. And then that gold topper Fool's Gold which actually has a matte finish on it. I just thought that that was so special because I love a gold flake topper but having it with the matte built into it I just thought that was really cool and unique and it definitely added an extra flavor to those polishes. So just a really fun collection overall. All of the colors really impressed me and honestly I just cannot stop wearing them. Okay number two on my list is probably a controversial pick but the Orly and NASA collaboration that came out in spring 2023 was perfection for me. I feel like it was absolutely not the typical spring collection which is probably why I liked it so much and it was only four colors but I just feel like space themed nail polishes will always have a special place in my heart and the fact that this was a collection of nail polishes that was actually a collaboration with NASA was so mind-blowing to me and it just made it feel so much more special knowing that these were space themed polishes created by the space administration so I just thought that was so cool. I honestly love every single color. The gold golden record is just the perfect yellow gold. I always talk about how I love a yellow gold nail polish and I feel like that one is just so perfect especially because that shimmer in there almost looks a little greenish because it's just so intensely yellow so that's just a stunner. Perseverance is such a beautiful Mars red kind of color and I cannot wear that one enough. View from L2 was I believe the only hollow polish I have from Orly and it is quality so very impressed with that one and then I have to say my favorite of that collection was the topper spirit of peace. I just loved the combination of the matte glitters with the metallic glitters and I feel like that's the kind of color that you can really wear over anything and it's such an elegant color combination that I feel like it works for special events as well. So even though it was a very small collection I feel like it was perfect. I loved everything about it and I would really love to see Orly collab with NASA again because that has to be the coolest collaboration that's ever been done. <laughs> So before we get to my number one pick, let's go through some honorable mentions. Speaking of very cool collabs, the collaboration that Mooncat did with Alice in Wonderland was very nearly perfect for me. All of the shades in that collection were absolutely stunning and they had just had so much going on in each color where it just felt like every time I looked at my nails, I discovered something new about the polish that I was wearing and I really loved the magnetics in the collection. I feel like that was kind of the kickstart to my recent magnetic obsession that I've been experiencing. So that was definitely a great start to that but also I was just a huge Alice in Wonderland fan growing up. Not just the Disney movie but just the world in general, the books and all that stuff and that just felt like another very special collaboration to me so was very excited about that. The colors really just worked so perfectly within the theme and they were really beautiful. Another honorable mention, I feel like this is going to be a surprise to people because I don't know if you think that this is going to be my number number one but it, it was a difficult decision but honorable mention number two goes to the Mooncat Underworld collection. I really loved that collection but if I had to choose one Mooncat collection of the year I would choose the Midnight Cowboy collection which honestly is a surprise even to me because I thought that these would be the colors that I would always go for but that being said these are some incredible colors. This was the collection that House of Hades comes from which is such a popular Mooncat pop polish now and I can totally understand why. It's so beautiful. It really just cannot be captured accurately on camera. It looks so much better in person and the color is so mesmerizing. I can't get enough of it. Another favorite of that collection is River Sticks and I feel like people don't talk about that shade enough because everyone's busy talking about House of Hades but that was another really stunning shade and overall I just thought the collection was beautiful. I loved the theming. I loved the names. Everything was just super cool about it. And then on 
honorable mention number three. This is another surprise to me. And that is the Orly Sweet Retreat collection. So that was their spring summer breathable line collection. And it was a surprise to me because I usually don't like the stereotypical spring polish colors. And this was definitely the typical spring palette, but it was a little bit brighter. It was almost like a neon pastel set of creams. And I just thought that they looked so beautiful in a Skittle together. And I love the breathable line. They always just make my nails feel so good. So it was really nice to have such bright colors, especially the shade Don't Sweet It. That was the purple of the collection. And it almost just reminded me of like a neon pastel version of Synthetic Symphony. So that was one that I totally fell in love with. But honestly, the whole collection is really good. And then of course, I have to mention my collabs of the year, which I will not give an official ranking, but obviously I put a lot of love and effort into those collabs. So I really love them. <laughs> the first of which was my Galaxy Remix collection with Orly. So I took my three original Galaxy shades that I made with them and I did remixed versions for the summer. And I just thought that that was such a fun collection to make. But in addition to that, I just feel like the new colors are incredibly durable. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people have been telling me this as well, but just the formulas on these shades, I'm wearing one right now, but just the formulas on them were so good and I feel like they last so much longer than any polish I have. So super impressive, but obviously the color Colors are very special to me because I helped create them and I just thought they were really beautiful and fun and I especially loved working on that topper with the black star glitters in it. I always love a funky topper and again I just I love the mix of like matte glitters plus specialty glitters and in this case it was hollow so just a really fun combination to play around with and I really love those shades. Again I love a galaxy themed manicure so I made some galaxy themed polishes and I totally love them. And then I also had my collaboration with Cirque Colors and that was my Vegas themed nail polish collection. That was super special to me because that was something that we were working on as I was settling into living in Vegas and I really wanted to capture the feeling of being here and I feel like all of the colors just ended up being so perfect. The shimmer graphics are just so vibrant and sparkly and I feel like they really capture the essence of the strip and then we've got the gold flaky polishes that just feel very perfect playing cards kind of vibes. So that was another very special collection to work on and I really had a lot of fun kind of using it as an excuse to explore Vegas a bunch. Definitely a great collection. Obviously I'm very biased but I love it. <laughs> and now time for my number one favorite collection of the year. It's actually a pretty new collection. It just came out for winter 2023 and that was the ILN P Nightlife Collection. Honestly, as soon as I saw these polishes, I knew I was a goner. I absolutely love every single one of them. They're six blackened magnetic shades. So we have just a whole rainbow of colors, but then once you magnetize them, they have this intense black background that has a hollow sparkle that just looks like a built-in galaxy manicure, but in the rainbow of colors, it feels like a laser light show or like fireworks. And I just think they're stunning. I I love the way that they looked magnetized. I love the way that they looked in the aura magnetization style where it kind of gives that velvety look, but I also love the way that they look unmagnetized. And as I've been saying, I've been going through a little bit of a magnetic phase. So I've been having so much fun playing with magnetic nail polishes. So this collection just came out at the perfect time for me. And honestly, I have no notes. I think they're absolutely perfect. I don't think I would change a single thing about this collection. I had to give it the number one spot because I just just instantly fell in love with them. I did mention the polish after hours in my recent holiday favorites, but honestly, I think that they're all perfect for New Year's vibes, but perfect for really any time of year, especially special events, because they just feel like a special event kind of polish. So yeah, definitely a fun collection. Cannot get enough of those. But yeah, that is it for my top five nail polish collections of 2023. Like I said, I'm also going to be doing a video of my top individual individual polishes for 2023. So stay tuned for that. But I want to hear from you. What was your favorite nail polish collection of the year? Let me know in the comments. We can chat about it. And if you want to do a whole top five ranking, you can also leave that in the comments because I'm curious to hear if we have any overlapping favorites. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please
please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And of course, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer, Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals, Paula, Ken, Rosie, and Angel. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Kim and Kim wants to know, what is an obscure kitchen utensil you love to use? Something not absolutely necessary, but you're glad to have. I am glad you asked this question because there is an obscure kitchen utensil that I love to use. I actually got it for Ryan last year for the holidays. It was just like a little stocking stuffer for him. And let me tell you, we use it all the time. We actually use it tonight for dinner. And that is, I don't actually know what it's called. It's like one of those meat separators. I'll, I'll put a picture of what it looks like. <laughs> but basically you can use it to chop up like chopped meat or sausage as it's cooking in the pan. But I don't just use it for that. We also use it for mashing things like potatoes, which is what we did tonight. It also works really well for kind of smashing things like tomatoes if you're making a tomato sauce. And let me tell you, we just always used to break up ground meat and stuff like that with a spatula. And this is an absolute game changer. I did not think that it was going to feel as different and as much easier as it is, but especially for sausage, which I feel like is really hard to break up. It is just so much easier. And I also, I personally, when I have any sort of ground meat, I like it to be a very fine consistency. And I feel like you just cannot get that fine of a consistency with a spatula, but the little meat separator, it really makes a difference. Let me tell you. <laughs> Definitely my favorite obscure kitchen utensil. But if you have another one you recommend, leave it in the comments and we'll chat about it. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.